Hey guys, this is Fury and I won, and I'm talking about the Stadia Connect. Now, what is that? It's kind of like Google's version of Nintendo Direct, and they were revealing some stuff about the Stadia today, and after watching it, I could see why this isn't at E3. People would have been brutal if this was at E3. Now, it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't exactly something good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just talk about all the good things that happened with the Stadia Connect, and then talk about the bad things. First good thing was that they did reveal how much internet speed you would need because remember Stadia is streaming so you don't really need hardware because Google kind of takes care of that. You need a decent internet connection usually when you're streaming games to run them well. They said Now they said for like the highest quality in the game you need at least like 35 Mbps which is actually pretty reasonable. I thought it was gonna be a lot higher and they said for like 720p I think 60 frame per second you need at least 10 Mbps, which once again isn't bad, that's very good. But then I realized they weren't talking about online games. Because then he's like, online, the online games parameters aren't far off or something, but they didn't reveal them. That gets me a little concerned, because why are you not going to reveal what the Mbps is for the online games, if they're not that far off? Unless they are kind of far off. I don't know. But... Those parameters are pretty good. I also like that they revealed the price for their Founders Edition, which basically is just the Google Cast Ultra for your screen, I'm assuming, and the controller, and also you get three months, I think, of the subscription service, and a Buddy Pass, which is three months for a friend, and there may be some more stuff you get with that, but that's the main thing that I remember. You get this all for $129. When I first saw it, I thought he was going to say $199, but that's a really good price. The price is really good, $129. Unfortunately, that's where all the good things in this Connect, in my opinion, ended. Because the rest of it was just like, what? They didn't show any exclusives. They didn't give a release date. And it's just like, what are you doing, Google? Because the thing is that exclusives bring people in. Yes, yeah, some people are going to buy Stadia, I'm pretty sure, just because it's streaming and they don't have to download any games or anything like that. But... I still think the majority of people want exclusives because that's what happens with PlayStation, with Xbox, with Nintendo. People a lot of times come for the exclusives. People go for games that they can't get anywhere else. And without that differential, I just don't see a real big reason to buy Stadia. If you're not super into the streaming service, I don't see the giant reason to buy Stadia. I just don't because to me, it's like exclusives are a must for any type of platform. Yes, there's no hardware console with Stadia apparently, but at the same time, even if you have just a digital platform, like with Steam and the Epic Game Store, exclusives are important. Exclusives what bring people in. So I don't understand exactly what Google is going with that whole connect because they revealed a little bit, but really, what are you guys aiming for with this? If you guys are truly gonna compete with the consoles and even with PC gaming because this is more of a digital platform then you need those exclusives those games that people can't get anywhere else in my opinion so I'm not exactly sure what Google is aiming for here what type of audience they're aiming for here because to me streaming in and of itself is not a big enough catch to really draw people in like when I was watching the live stream some people in the chat were like not sold and basically I think that's what this is. This Connect did not, I think, did not sell the Chrome. Yes, it's a good price. Yes, the MBPS requirements are relatively low for at least games that aren't online. But I feel like we need a lot more before we're going to actually be sold on getting Stadia and, like, subscribing to it. But what did you guys think about the Stadia Connect? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.